Hi guys, part two of uh, the video about is flirting necessarily cheating? My phone cut off, so part two. Again, we don't want, you know, anyone to be rude or mean to us if we say no. You know, a lot of people don't know how to accept the word no. And so if we go to that type of establishment where we even think like, okay, mm, if I say no, girl, he may get mad and this and that, you know what I'm saying? And that goes for women too. It's not just men that get mad. It, there, there's some women out there that get mad too. So now we don't even put our energy into spaces like that, you know? So now with the lounge, it's more laid back. You know, you see more couples. You see, we're not, whether they're married or not, you see more couples. You see more, um girlfriend and boyfriend in there, you know, so you would hope and think that, okay, since you're here with your man or your woman, then no, you're not going to flirt and be, you know, flirtatious or try to cheat on your, you know, your other in front of her, you know, or in front of him. So other than that, I think, um, I don't think it's always cheating. I just think that you have to be careful with people's advances, do you know what I mean? You can't always be smiling in someone's face and them and like and expect the other person to take it as, oh, you know, yeah, everything's fine. Some people are going to be like, oh, okay, you want to, all right, let's exchange numbers. And stuff. You just got to be careful. You got to be careful. I feel like that can go either way. You've got to be careful because people out here nowadays do not care if you marry. They don't care if you marry. So. You got to be careful. Um, other than that, that's it, y'all. That's all I have to say on this subject. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And let me know, have y'all experienced something like this before? I'm going to take down the rest of my braids. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.